Here are five things that you can get or give someone who have a 3D printer. I've made over 100 FDM miniatures alone in 2025. So these five things are a stable and I cannot live without them. And none of these five things are 3D printing materials. So there are no multicolor systems, filament and so on. The first one is very simple. And that is our air purifier. Let us face it, 3D printing is unhealthy. Every time you start a print, you create small plastic particles into the air and they will go straight down your lungs. All you need is a air purifier that has a certified HEPA 13 or HEPA 14. A air purifier can just say that we are HEPA certified, but it does not mean that it is the good HEPA. I do not know what is a good HEPA or what is a bad HEPA. I just know that HEPA 13 and HEPA 14 will take the small particles. If it's not those two, then <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So don't look at Ikea or any other place that just say HEPA certified. So here are the things that I look for in a air purifier when I was buying one. I was looking for the HEPA and I was looking for low cost filters. If the air purifier is cheap, but the filters are really expensive, then um, <laughs> I also recommend highly, please, highly, <laughs> that you buy from a, a established brand. If you buy an air purifier from a company that will not exist in the near future, then you cannot buy filters and therefore your air purifier will become useless. So please buy from a established brand. And one thing that I really enjoyed is air quality sensor. My air purifier can tell me when the air is good, bad, and when it needs to be turned on. But if you fart in your small office, then it will detect it and it will start. And that is pretty embarrassing, but that just means that it is good quality. So the second thing that I would buy is a air gun or a hot gun. Not all 3D prints will come out perfect, but a air gun can be a life savior. It can remove small stringing. It can remove small imperfections. It will save you so much time. It is small, it works. And if I got a real air, hot air gun, then it would just take too much space. This is very big. It is so massive. Oh, <laughs> it's small. It's small. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. First thing that I would get is clippers, magnets, and glue. 3D prints, eight out of 10 times, requires supports. And these supports are just the living hell. Clippers like this one can make this much easier. It will not be more fun, but it will be easier. You will need glue if the model breaks. If the model is top dollar and fine, then you just need some magnets if you want to make something fun. The fourth thing that I would get is gel balls. Filament is like a sponge. They absorb the moisture from the air, which can affect the print quality big time. But if you buy these kind of balls, and you put them in the AMS, or you can get and print like these and put them inside the spool, then you are good to go. And when they turn green, then you just put them in the oven on a dehydration setting. They will turn uh, orange again and you can use them forever. So if you have a 3D printer and you just have a lot of filament that is not being used in any kind of way, then these are just freaking perfect. They take the most. You can also just place this into a airtight bag. Then you can just seal the filament in the airtight bag with this one and all the moisture will be 
taken. The fifth thing and the absolute last thing that I would buy is a primer. There are two reasons why I would use a primer on my miniatures. The first one is, of course, painting. But the other thing is that when you have a primer, you make a small coat that hides the layer lines just a little bit, just a little bit, but everything counts when it comes to FDM miniatures. So if you want to start your painting journey with miniatures, then a primer is a must. So therefore, if you want to make this a gift, then I would say buy a primer and a small box of paints for the person, which can be yourself or another one.